Hello, welcome again to Boleros PH and today uh, I'm Sam by the way. Joining me here today is Dale and Gab. Hey guys, say hi. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Welcome back. It's been a while. I know. It's been a while. Happy been to be back. back. It's been a while. Welcome back Dale. You we missed you nung last episode, but today we're going to do another fantasy UAAP fantasy draft. So since wala pa tayong UAAP basketball, September pa yun mangyayari, um, we're just going to keep on doing this fantasy draft. Because it seems like we're enjoying it and I think the, the based on the comments, the people are, the viewers yes. are also enjoying, enjoying it. We've hit so, 50 subscribers, people! <laughs> Such a big achievement. Come on. Wala bang... YouTube, ano, uh, trophy niyan. Pag oh, uh, so if anyone's Anso. listening, help us get to 60. 60 lang. 60. Baby steps. Ang taas Baby naman ang ano, goals step. natin. Hey, Sam, isang buong classroom na yun. More than. Well, it's More than. than. Uh-oh. More than. Big class na yun sa UP. Oo. Um, so, sige, so today, Dale, sino ang fantasy draft natin today? Ay, ito. Marami tayong pagpipilian dito. So, some say that they this school has the most number of players right now in the PBA. So, I think everyone will already get this school from that clue. We're doing the FEU Tamaraus for this episode. Yes, correct. So, FEU Tamaraus. A very accomplished team. Tapos, mm-hmm. I think sila yung longest streak sa Final Four, di ba? Tama ba? Yep, I think I yung think, yep. na mention nila last time. Uh-huh. So if your this is your first time watching the fantasy draft, um, Gab, can you briefly explain kung ano yung mechanics ng fantasy draft natin? All right, for so for those first timers who are listening to Boleros PH, uh, our fantasy draft will be a snake draft. Well. Three picks, one for each of us. Then will the order will invert. Uh, <clears throat> we're picking based on uh, the players' performance in their UAP days. So we're we're not counting uh, specifically Romeo. in FEU. <clears throat> specifically in FEU. So if they tran, if they came from another school like Arvin Tolentino from Ateneo, that doesn't count. Or uh, Terence Romeo in Gilas, that doesn't count. You know, we all know how much of a baller Terence, Terence Romeo was, but he doesn't count. Just his days in FEU. And then uh, we'll try to go eight. And then if time permits, we'll, we'll stretch to 10. If we enjoy, that's like the first two <laughs> drafts we did. We enjoyed too much. That's why we extended to 10. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. That's all our rules, right? <clears throat> yes, correct. And... um. The way we'll do the order is we'll do a random uh, shuffle of the names three times. Tapos yung third time, that will be the order of the draft. Um, for today, I think, Gab, ano yung coverage natin? Season, season 68, 68 to the current to 84, season? 84, yes. Okay, so yeah. season 68 yeah. to 84. Dame, dame. Okay. So, medyo maraming nahalungkat na roster si Gab, kaya medyo malaki yung list natin. Shout out to all the forums and blogs that listed the rosters because FEU does not have official list. <laughs> Thanks so, for helping us out. Shout out. Thank you. Okay, Gab, let's let's do the um, shuffle. All right. Oh my gosh. Exciting. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. So, how many? Three? Three randomizations? Right? Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, Sam, I think we're seeing the. There you go. All right, so let's and, randomize. And randomizer natin. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's number First one. Time, number two, it didn't change. Huh? That's weird. Oh, nag two na. Same? Ganun. 
Ayun, you have randomized this three times, no? Oh, yeah. No. <clears throat> I think it's just a That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Unang-una pa lang, may nagbenta na lang ano natin. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, wala akong ginawa, ha? Wala akong ginawa. Si Gabby oh, oh. nag-randomize. One, one more time. One more time. I didn't oh. touch it. I didn't touch it. Oh, yeah. Wala, eh. Oh. Yan talaga, eh. You have randomized okay. this oh. list. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. The universe okay. has okay. intervened. Wala, wala. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, I'll so the order the is. So Sam will pick first, then me, and then Dale. I, I wanted that okay. first pick. Oi. I mean, we all did. Because pretty <laughs> much, alam na natin kasi na yung magiging number one. Come on. Um. Okay, go not for gonna it. Not gonna overthink it. Let's start. My first <laughs> pick is going to be my cousin. The joke lang. Um, Arwin <laughs> Santos. So. Um, no surprises. No surprises. No surprises. Um, you can just you can tell how good this guy is because until now he's still a solid starter for the PBA and uh, he you North know he still scores and defends really well, no? So pero etong guy na to sobrang lakas nito nung nasa UAAP siya. Yeah. The um, goat. The goat of FEU talaga. And yep. I think yep. very ano siya eh, um, ahead of his time in terms of the way he played. Kasi um, quattro siya, di ba? Stretch four siya na defensive, can guard multiple positions, mm-hmm. shoot wasn't threes. wasn't stretching it that much. You know, yung back in the day, he wasn't really shooting that Be- much. Pe- uh-huh. Pero hindi kasi ganun yung laro noon eh. Yeah, no? But because he transitioned really well. Kasi... This dude can score in multiple ways. Tapos high flyer, dunker pa siya, shot blocker. Adaptable nga siya, no? In any roster. Sobra. Tapos, uh, may uh, mean streak pa siya na nakakaburat. Nakakaburat yeah. siya pagkalaban mo siya. Yeah. Uh, for any of the young youngins out there who are, who's listening to our podcast, uh, I there are a lot of games of Arwen Santos on uh, uh, on YouTube that you can pull up uh, a lot of finals games and you know I implore you to watch how Arwin Santos played back he was you know, not only was he good offensively he was a defensive beast you know this guy was so frustrating to play against you know he played against Ateneo in the 2003 finals I, I, and I was there <laughs> and I was Hoping to the Lord that for some reason he got he fouled out or he got injured because he was killing us. Uh, you know, Rich Alvarez was checking him. Wesley Gonzalez was checking him. They couldn't do anything against Arwin Sandoz. I mean, Wesley Gonzalez was trying to outmuscle him in the post. You know, uh, all the dirty tricks he knew he was trying, but they, he couldn't stop Arwin Sandoz. Even when he went up against Lasal uh, and that team, I mean, they beat him beat him because the championship eventually went to FEU, but they couldn't stop Arwin. Uh, you're right, Sam. Uh, player way ahead of his time. Uh, defensive beast. Grabe talaga si Arwin. Grabe si Arwin. Yeah. And not afraid of the big moment si Arwin. Parang college pa lang. Alam niya nang... Alam niya parang feel na feel niya talaga superstar siya. And then, I mean, he proves it every game. Very, very... Uh, masipag this player and I think lahat naman tayo kung tayo yung nakakuha ng first pick right? parang correct yes. naman lahat tayo mag Arwin Santos so. ay nako Sam good choice this is, this, is, this is just like the this is just like the Lasal draft where kind of the first pick <laughs> you're you have a big advantage you know the Ben and Bala pick this is very similar mm-hmm. yeah all right, so for my second pick in the FEU draft, uh, this was tough for me because I really had uh, Arwin Santos as my number one. But I think for me, a clear number two would be Mac Bello. I think if if there was a heir apparent to Arwin Santos, uh, it would be Mac Bello. You know, uh, his pro career was, ki- was kind of... You know, uh, he wasn't as good in the pros now 
because of it, of the amount of injuries he's, he's taken on. But even in the UAAP, he started off slow. He was a role player, then really came on under Nasra Sela. I mean, uh, talk about an, another guy who was a defensive beast and also expanded his offensive game. Mac Bello was this guy. Uh, could shoot, could drive, could lock down every single position on the court. He could guard centers through the point guard position. So yeah, it's a uh, Arwin Santos Jr. Uh, I don't know, and I hit the big, sh- the, the one of the biggest shots in FAU history. Yes. That the corner shot against Lasalle. Uh, who could forget Grabe that? Yun. Deliver the championship. But the game winning tip niya sa Ateneo, de ba? Yes. Pa- oh, I, I remember ten. that. Nami yung big moments din yun. against Vaughn and Kiefer. Yes. Uh, and that was one, really one of the biggest things that made Mac Bello and as well as Arwin Santos uh, really great for FE. Not only did they, did they do, you know, the, the the big things, the superstar things, they also did the little things. You know, they rotated well and they rebounded the heck out of the ball. So Mac Bello is my second pick for the FE draft. Anything else you, you want to say for Mac Bello? Give him his flowers. I, I mean, um, I agree I, naman with... Yeah, go, Dale. Go, Dale. With a lot of what you said, Gab. Talagang, ano rin si Mac Bello. Air apparent naman talaga, totoo, um, of Arvin Santos. And I think, nung last few years na lang siya talaga nagkaroon ng name, no? Kasi yung Shine. biggest... Oo, uh, yung biggest shots niya rin talaga happened um, nung last playing year niya na rin. And we've seen him now with his stint in the pros and of course with... Gila. So, if siguro balikan nga natin yung mga games na before, especially no last few years, you'll really see the similarities between him and, and Darwin. So, ako nasa top three ko rin siya sana, but unfortunately nakuha ahead. Yep. Um, <laughs> Blame the list. I just wanna... Four times. Four times. It was random. <laughs> That's true. Feel ko may problema yon. But anyway, I'm happy to to <laughs> finally get the first pick. Um, no, but I was I just wanted to say I was talking to Dale before you came in, Gab. The sabi ko kay Dale, uh, Mac Bello is my favorite FU player of all time. So to be honest, like kung hindi ako nag first pick, I w- wanted to get sana the second pick just so that I can draft Mac Bello. So um, I just had to pick Arwin because obviously he's like the goat. Yeah. Pero coach, yeah. when it comes to like favorite player of all time, ako Mac Bello talaga. Such a humble, quiet guy. He just yeah, does, very quiet. Makes his, oh, makes his yeah. game do the talking. That was a total opposite of him to Arwin because Arwin was really in your yes. face. He would, he would laugh at you, trash talk, and do everything. Yeah. Uh, Mac Bello, yeah, a total opposite. Very soft-spoken guy. Mm-hmm. And everyone's saying that, di ba, pag na, sa mga commentators na he's really letting his um, his play speak for himself. Kasi wala kang makuha sa kanya. Like sa interviews, minsan nga yung emotions, very rare also. Unless yung mga sobrang winning shots na lang, doon na lang siya nagre-react. So wala siya nung ganong part ni Arwin, but all others, same season. Parang sila. kawaii. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kawaii. Um, Dale, go ahead. Go with your, I know, third, okay. uh, first and second pick. Yeah. So, Sam mentioned na may pinag-uusapan kami kanina before we went um, officially on record. Feeling ko hindi pa siya makukuha agad. And I have back-to-back picks anyway. So, for my third one, I'll go with another FEU legend. I'll go with Denok Miranda. Yes. Um, wow! I, Teammate I think, of our win. Ah, oh, teammate of Arwind. I think the lore of those two, Arwind and Denok, I think a lot of, not even the diehard fans, but also the casual fans of UAAP would remember these two names from FEU and from our roster. And I love this guy because one of the smallest probably on the court every time he plays, but man, he plays with a lot of heart and with a lot of guts. He will get the fouls. Yung mag, ano yun, parang yung charging, hahayaan yung katawan niya too. Um, just to get the foul. So I love that with Denok. And 
siguro ang ganda rin nung timing niya sa roster na na teammate niya si Arwin because they were really making a lot of problems for the teams that they faced. Um, not they were as defensive juggernaut mm-hmm. because of those yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Hindi sila sobrang offensive minded, minded si si Denok um, for his position. Not super offensive minded, but the effort is always there in the defensive side. And I think nung ganong panahon din ng UAAP, we were really, we weren't that in love with the three-point shot anyway. Diba? Mas, maraming post-up, maraming brasuhan, ganyan. So, then Miranda, always a fun uh, fun game pag nandun siya and he's doing all the dirty work. It's funny you said he was the smallest guy in the court because me watching him growing up, he's, he looked huge for a point guard. Chunky so siya, big. pero Stocky. hindi siya tall. Stocky. Oh, yeah. Chunky. He was going, hindi siya tall. He was going up against Eli Tenoro and Eli Tenoro looked tiny. Ah, uh, <laughs> kaya. Ang hindi ano, tiny. Like sa wide, uh, wide-bodied ganyan. Pero like in height, pero hindi naman masyado. Parang ano, yeah. parang Kyle Lowry, no? Yung team, yeah. maliit yes, na yes. chunky point guard Good na comparison. takes the charges, sobrang pesky, na floor general. Solid yun, Denok Miranda. Yeah, and uh, like what you said, Dale, this guy was a defensive beast along with Arwin and the other players on the team, Mark Isip. They were a defensive juggernaut talaga. Uh, it started with those two. Nila, no? Yeah. Uh, uh, the championship speak for itself. Three straight championship, back to back, but you know, got the third one by by a technicality. But yeah, three default. straight championships <laughs> by default. Thank you, Lasal. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, defensive beast of a point guard. Yeah, can't follow. But I was surprised he went third. Because <laughs> feeling, ako rin naman kasi yung pipek ng next. Eh. So feeling ko yung uh, yeah okay. The other one, my, maybe this one you might agree on, but oh. let's see. Go ahead for your next pick. Okay, so dahil medyo puro my defensive mindset na ako, dun ako sa offense, and ito na yung pinag-usapan namin ni Sam kanina. This player player is my favorite FEU player of all time. Jeff Chan is my. Okay, so ah. ayon na, ay na. <laughs> So I expected that this time, yeah. Jeff Chan, offense, all of the threes, all day, every day, and also a very smart player, not as flashy. I think, um, parang dun kasi rin ako naglilin sa ganong type of uh, point guard. So I really like Jeff Chan in the fourth uh, for our fourth. Pick. I don't think we robbed. I robbed him of anything by not picking him in the third, but super efficient scorer also in his heyday and up to now the longevity also in PBA. We've seen him save a lot of our asses in the Gilas um, rosters, but um, just speaking within his FEU playing days, man, wala karing tapon kay kay Jeff Chan. And I guess from both of your reactions, nasa top, yeah. ano rin yun, top five types. Eh, top yeah. A- another, another guy in the mold of Mac Bello na very quiet. He does the... He lets his game do the talking. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I admire that about him. Then. The leadership uh, also, whenever he's on the court, he calms people down. Diba? Talagang true point guard. He was supposed to be my next pick. Uh, ah, I think it go speaks back. to his long, long longevity also in the pros. Na, all right, he's 39. He's go, going at 40. He's still playing. Grabe, no, grabe. <laughs> Such a dead eye shooter. Yeah. Uh, that, that's how valuable the shoot, shooting yeah. is. So anyway, for my next pick, uh, in this draft, I'm gonna go with. Well, I want shooting as well. So. I'm going to go with the wing. I'm going to go with RR Pogoy. So, he was my pick. The, good, I good. know it was your pick. I, 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 I can read your mind. I know you were going to pick RR Pogoy. But yeah, RR, uh, 
what else can we say about him? Uh, teammate of Mac Bello and uh, a champion as well. Uh, unheralded from Cebu. I, I don't think he was. Well, I don't remember if was if he was highly recruited, but I love this guy's game. Uh, can score a lot, can shoot the lights out, except when he's on Gilas, he can't hit a freaking bucket when he, when he's in the national team. <laughs> but my drought. But, well, it's true. In the PBA, he's a he's a dead eye shot maker. Also in the UAP, but when he's in Gilas, he can't make a shot. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, he's a scorer. This guy gets buckets. Buckets, and he's also a very solid defender. Uh, Coach Nash trusted him a lot. Uh, also, I think I, I I don't know if it if it, if it was Bert Flores or it was Glenn Capaz who, who was his first coach. Anyway, this coaches his coaches trusted him a lot to handle the ball, score the ball, and defend the best guy on the other team. And Chotreas also and Tab in the pros also trusted him to get the hardest assignment on the other team. So. I think this is a no-brainer pick for my second pick to kind of make out my uh, wing, Mac Bello. Uh, kind of stretch big, but for my wing position, RR Pogo it seems like a perfect fit. Oh, hey. Go. Um, I have two picks. <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> Uh, Next to ka naman. Daming eh. okay. Daming solid. Oh, daming solid. Um, oh sige. God. So for my next pick, hmm, I think I'm just gonna go with the... Uh, there are three guys here that you can really pick. Like, you can like pick any of them. You won't, I know, you won't make a mistake. Pero siguro for my next pick, my second player, I'm gonna pick Mark Baroka. Um, defensive, pesky point awesome. guard. Na, um, this guy was really good. I, I, yeah. He was so annoyingly yeah. good na ang liksi niya, ang kulit niya. Tapos sobrang mm-hmm. defensive din niya. Ang galing niya mag-steal. I was so happy when I found out na he decided to turn pro early. Um tapos oh, there, biglang papasok lang, there was, papasok lang pala si RR Garcia at saka si RR Garcia at saka si Terence Romeo eh, no? pero I I really love this guy then um, sobrang kulit lang niya talaga so I, I'm gonna get him as like my uh, second pick sorry Gab you were saying uh, I, I I was saying you know, there, you know, there was a reason he left early <laughs> uh, yung game fixing were... ba to? Yeah, the game fixing. Although it was never proven, uh, but. Oh, so, parang daming yeah. may ganong issue sa FEU. Oh, sa so FEU. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mean, so, parang namin ang nasulat about it. I don't think we're telling like any anything controversial uh, or new. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but I, I agree, Sam. Uh, I love Mark Barocas' game. Uh, really pesky. <laughs> I have to agree. Uh, yep. His face was also annoying. <laughs> <laughs> sobra, if you're, sobra. If you're from burat the other, burat kami ng tatay ko dito. Well, dami na kumuro sa kanya talaga. Sobra. Yeah, it, <laughs> diba? he's a, cause he's a guy that uh, if you're from the opposing school, you would love to hate on this guy. You know, yeah. uh, he had a very annoying face and a very annoying game. Just gotta say it. Yeah. But, but kudos to him. He was pretty good. He was a pretty good point guard. All and right. even even when I'll he go. transferred, de ba, sa pros, dami rin yung championships sa Pure Foods, if I'm not mistaken. Talagang hindi Pure Foods, now Magnolia, yeah. Yeah, yeah now Magnolia. Magnolia. Sobrang floor leader to. Tsaka, tama uh, kayo. Alam mo ba't nakakainis siya, Gab? Kasi, numingiti siya eh pag when he does something <laughs> like God. Tapos may ngiti siya na parang gusto mo sa pakin eh. Gusto mo sa pakin eh. Patuhin, de ba? Oo. Yung yung yeah, anyway, recap, recap. All right. Okay, so, so just to go recap, go, ahead, go, ahead. go Gab, go Gab, go Gab. So for a recap, so in the first round, first pick was Arwin Santos Doi, and then Mac Bello and Denok Miranda. Then 
uh, they will pick Jeff Chan, then next RR Pogoy and Mark Baroka. So there you have it. Uh, let us know who's winning so far. <laughs> if you think you know, the pick of Arwin Santos is, is running away with this. <laughs> of course. All right. For our third round, Sam, go ahead. Okay, third round. Okay, for this one, you know, I want to pick based on need. But honestly, like, I'm just gonna go with best player available. I'm gonna, I, I, I think I for me, natin, yeah. I'm just gonna go, I hate this guy. I want to pick someone else. <laughs> but the talent <laughs> is undeniable. I so I'm gonna pick Terence Romeo as my third but pick. Of course. Uh, that so two that guard line up. Ako, two guard line up. I love me. I, I, I really, I don't want to pick him, but He's like by far the most talented. And alam na natin, unstoppable <laughs> scorer, ball handler, crazy ball handling skills. What what more can I say? Sam, sorry. With your picks... Ay, wala si Sam. Okay. Sorry, Sam, sorry, sorry. With your picks, you have the most punchable roster right now. <laughs> I mean, that's FEU basketball, oh guys. God. That's FEU basketball. Nakakairita Arwin, Baroka, Romeo. Shit. There's not enough ball to go around. Terence Romeo pa lang, wala na. Black hole na yun. Oh my God. Pwede How will you share Kaya the ball yan. with Arwin? Uh, anyway, yan. that's the reason why I am, uh, despite, you know, uh, being the darling of a lot of Filipino fans and a uh, lot of FEU fans, I really went in this draft saying, I'm sorry, I'm not getting Terrence Romeo <laughs> because uh, he's a black hole on offense, <laughs> does not know how to pass the ball, and doesn't play a lick of defense. <laughs> but he can score. This guy's a bucket. <laughs> I think everyone knows that this guy's a bucket. Has handles yeah, yeah. for kaya, days. Kaya, kaya I decided to draft Baroka first then. Eh, para at least. Okay. Oh, okay. He will take care of the defensive. Uh, ano. Kasi meron na ako sa, ano eh, si Arwin, shot blocker. Perimeter si Baroka. Pwede na ako mag-score, Terrence. Go do your thing. <laughs> I love na same yung, yung group thing natin. We're, we're, we're not taking Terrence Romeo. <laughs> we're not taking Terrence Romeo. Oh my God. Pilit na pilit siya eh. <laughs> Wala eh. <laughs> so anyway, uh, on to my third pick. So for my third pick, ah. Uh, I want to get a guard, but it's so hard to pick from all the FEU guards out there. But, uh, and dami, you know, and daming magagaling. Eh. Yeah, and and daming magaling the guards ng FEU. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I guess I have to pick this guy. Um, we, we only saw one year of him in the in, in an FEU uniform, RJ Avarientos. Ron J. Lights out. Uh, I think one year is enough for all fans to see how good RJ Albarientos was. Led the team in scoring, uh, almost won Rookie of the Year uh, if if he won more games. But yeah, from his time in Gilas and his one season in FEU, I think he proved it na, that this that this game is far more mature than being a rookie. You know, uh, can hit threes. Pass the ball really well, play defense, and can play in a system. I think you know, that's the most important one. He's not only a great you know, isolation scorer, he's also a great uh, team player. And uh, <laughs> sad, to, sad to see him go for FEU. One year, one and done. I, I never thought we'd see it from a Filipino player, but one and done. Legit one and done. <laughs> Gab, baka you want to, ano, to expound for people baka hindi pa nila alam yung news na yun. Just in case. All right. So why are we saying his one and done? Uh, so if anyone has not uh, read the news recently or gone on a- any social media platform or was, or was hiding under a rock, um, uh, RJ Abarenas has decided to 
go and play pro ball in the KBL, the Korean Basketball League. Am I right? Is that right? Or Japan? Correct. I think it's the KBL. Uh, Korea. KBL. Uh, Korean KBL. Basketball. Yeah. Yeah. In the KBL and uh, it's leaving FEU after one year of playing for the Tamarao. So, uh, again, I, I guess this... If you fans are feeling the same thing as what we are feeling right now, Sam, since SJ Belange left, uh, ang sakit. Pero you gotta be happy for him. <laughs> he's, he's getting the bag. Yeah, pero big blow. Really big blow for yeah. FU. Imagine mo. I'm sure they were building around RJ, di ba? First year pa lang niya. They were probably mm-hmm. expecting him to play, you know. At least maybe a couple of more years, kahit hindi niya complete yung five years of playing niya. Pero wala. Eh. That's a big blow. One year lang. At least SJ, nakatatlo sa atin, di ba? Nag-champion na siya. Eh. So he has a reason to leave. But RJ was, you know, it was just his first year. Very surprising for me. Pero happy for him. Uh, for me, why this is really big is because I think... This is gonna be the first domino to fall. Uh, are you? Are we gonna see more players after their rookie year in the in the UAAP in in the collegiate ranks immediately go pro elsewhere? You know, this is gonna be like the US NCAA where uh, players out of high school just take one year of college and then go to the NBA. You know, uh, this is big because you know, j- just like what you said, Sam. Uh, one year, one year of playing, and you went pro. This is new. This is entirely new. We, we haven't seen this before. So, yeah. this, so is this is why. For, yeah, this is for this is a this is big news. Also, another wake up call to the PBR. You're losing so much talent, fools. <laughs> Oh, hey, cut na, cut na ba? Mag, for another maging, episode. Ibang, oh, nga, ibang podcast na to. <laughs> Dale, what is your next pick? Bago pa okay. mag-rantong si Gab. So again, pagsasabayin natin ang pick since ako naman back-to-back. And since I already have two guards, I think more obvious for me to pick um, sa front court na. So I'll pick Mark Isi first and then Raymar Jose. I think, okay, again, unahin ko si Mark oh. Isi and then Raymar Jose. I, I guess those two guys... Also have some similarities. Um, rebounding is there for both of them. And then specific kay Raymar Jose, the leadership also. He was one of the... I, I think he was the team uh, team captain nung panahon ni Mac Bello. So parang yung roster nila, very quiet um, yung roster nila. Walang flashy masyado. But um, again, his play speaks for himself and... I think that was also evident kasi ang taas niya pala sa PBA draft when I was researching. Third pick siya ng Blackwater, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Blackwater picked him third pick sa PBA. Ang taas, di ba? So that says a lot about how he played, how he performed during his FEU days. And same goes for Mark Isip. I think that core with with Arwin, with Deno, he was such a, a good piece for that roster. I think these two guys complemented the offensive power of, of their guards nung sa roster nila. And they were there to clean up. Of course, not every night, not every game na may magandang shooting yung guards nila dun sa roster nila. But they were there to rebound and to really wait for their turn. Uh, I don't think a lot of plays were drawn up for these two guys, but they were there to clean up and they they thrived in that role diba? so so for me okay then na naging back to back picks ko sila for my third and fourth kasi uh, very similar yung mabibigay nila sa sa roster ko so far i think dale yung comment ko lang sa roster mo right now i think you're trying to compete with my roster sa so yung nicest guys in FEU. Parang yung mga tahimik or mga, mga, mga mababait na mga ano. Oh, Kulang na lang sa'yo si Mac Bello eh. No? Oh, ayaw kong masapak sa parking lot. I gotta contest that. I think masabait ang roster ko. Uh, ano Mac Bello, 
RR? RR doesn't... Well... RR Pugoy? Mr. Flying Kit? Well, I'm going to say that. Aside from his incident against Australia, this guy doesn't really... Trash o kasi F- 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 EU lang daw kasi no, no, no. pinag-uusapan. Sobrang nakakainis kaya yan. Nakakainis yan mag-dumipente. Uy, magulang kaya yan. si Pogoy. <laughs> Oo, magulang yan. Nung... May mga okay. siko siya. K-fine, K-fine. Subtle, very subtle siya. Pero sumisiko hmm. kaya. Anyway, yung yeah. I was gonna say Go that Mark Ise, Frey, Mark Jose, they're very similar players. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Uh... <laughs> Like what you said, very rebound-oriented players can, can can play make a little and work out of the post. Not much of a perimeter game for either. So for both of them, uh, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Hey, I have Jeff Chan, eh. Yeah. So far. That's true. That's true. It's a dead eye shooter. But anyway. but I love Raymar Jose. Sobrang especially nung later years niya, sure ball yun sa ilalim. Eh, basa makuha niya sa ilalim, magpost up siya. He can he can score that he can score he can make his moves uh, post up nun. I like him. I like him nun senior game. He's one of my top centers then. Mm-hmm. Mark Isip din nga for his size. Di mo akalain mabilis siya. Pero mabilis siya. Ano laki niya? Eh? High IQ guy din. Oh. Go Gab. All right. So for my fourth pick in this draft. Gotta go big. Gotta go big. Uh, pretty small right now. Instead of, aside from Mac Bello. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go with Eman Ojula. Uh, <laughs> I know you were good. We've been singing praises I'm for him. I'm salty. Like, I'm salty. The entire UAP season. Yeah. I, I, I think we have the license to pick him. Uh, very skilled, very big. This guy is a man. He's not a boy. He's not a boy in college. He has a man. I bet he has a son or a daughter somewhere, but this guy's a man. And he plays like one. Uh, this guy's big. Uh, lo- I love this guy's game. Pretty skilled. Uh, I think you were the one who mentioned this, Sam. This is his, the past season was his only playing year for FEU. Yes, so, correct. Sad. No, they're losing... Ojula and Abarientos. Oh, uh, Coach Olsen has his work cut out for him in the next season because Emma and Ojula was, I think, pretty big for them, pretty underutilized. I think in any era of basketball, if, if you put him in the early 2000s or late 2000s, I think he could have easily been MVP. Uh, he's so good in the post and he has such good hands and he's not a bad defender as well. So Emma and Ojula. In my opinion, I think uh, the best foreign student athlete uh, FEU has had. Uh, I mean, if you compare him to Prince Orizu, uh, Kay Pipo. Patrick, uh, yung Patrick Twente, and uh, yeah, Senchu, Hargrove, I think Ojula is the runaway uh, best foreign student athlete that FEU has had. Sad lang that really he's just staying for one year. For one year. Sad for FEU. I mean, nabanggit mo na. I mean, nakita mo ba itsura niya? Mukhang may anak na yun eh. <laughs> I'm sorry, pero mukhang mama na talaga siya compared to like the other players eh. Um, <laughs> hindi sila mukhang magkaila okay. ni RJ. Definitely. <laughs> hindi. Definitely hindi. Uh, okay. So, um, <laughs> um, for the last pick in the fourth round, uh, I'm I'm also gonna go big. Uh, I really wanted to pick uh, Ojula, but since Gab picked him before me, I'm I'm really happy with my other center pick. Uh, I'm gonna go stretch big Olet. Love this guy, shot blocking three point shooter. I know, I know. Aldrich Ramos. Aldrich, yes. Really long and lanky shot blocker. Na has a good. Three point shot and mid range jump shot. One of those guys, ulit na I think tapag usapan natin to nung lasal draft uh, gap. Minalas lang din tong guy na to. Kasi natapat to dun sa five feet Ateneo team na parang. Yeah. May, um, I don't know kung sino na abutan niya, Raba or 
Greg Slaughter. Basta... Pareho. Ah, ay, ay, diba? Yung pareho. Eh, diba? So, FEU couldn't get past Ateneo kasi malaki hirap yung FEU hirap. pero Ateneo was just bigger and stronger. So, feel bad for him but I love this guy. Very humble guy. So, meron naman akong mabait na player from FEU. In my opinion, I think he was better in college than he was in the pros. Uh, mainly because he got bigger. I said bulkier in the... Lumaki siya eh. Tapos ang bagal na niya. In the pros, yeah. He, he became slower. Uh, uh, he was able to bang more, but his lift was not there. He wasn't able to get by his defenders much. So he, so he depended a lot on his outside shooting. Which Three-point shooting him, lang, no? Yeah. It kept him alive. Chicken pop, up, ganun. Up to now in the pros. And even made him very valuable for the Gilas program because... Uh, he could stretch the floor and he was pretty big at 8 or 6, 8, 6, 7. So, yeah, but yeah, I I, I don't know. I mean, the, all the extra rice, all that pure food stem, juicy hot dogs he was eating, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but he got really big. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan ba natin ng sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sige. Um, just to recap, I sorry, iba pala na, ayan, Aldrich Ramos. So, just to recap, four rounds in, we're halfway through. Here are the teams so far. For me, I have Arwin, Baroka, Terence Romeo, and Aldrich Ramos. For Gab, he has Belo, Pogoy, Abarientos, and Ujula. For Dale, uh, Mer- Denok Miranda, Jeff Chan, Mark Isip, and Ray Marse. Okay? Sige. Um, for the fifth round, so ako ulit, um, I'm tempted to draft based on talent, but uh, oh. probably not the most talented player left. But I really love this guy also, and I think he would be a good f- fit to my team right now. I'm going to pick a current player. Uh, we always talk about this guy, and I always tell you na I love this guy. Another quiet FEU player na sinabi na natin ilang beses na natin sinabi very quiet no reaction but a killer three point shooter silent assassin Cyrus Torres ah oh, he's not silent you, you you see him shout and smile when he hit the nung end na yon nung end game na panalo na, na. But before na. that Oh, linabas na niya. Parang kawaii lang, di ba? Yung, yung game winner na, lumabas na yung emotion. Okay. Another one of, uh, in the mold of, I, I, if we, 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 you, we were talking about Mac Bello, the heir apparent of uh, Arwin Santos. I think Cyrus Story is the heir apparent of uh, Jeff Chan. White. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Say, Pareho ng kutis. Tapos, <laughs> Dead Eye Shooters. <laughs> Jeff Chan. <laughs> Parang ang dami palang magkakapares dito sa FEU players. Parang, <laughs> pwede ba silang compare-compare? Same-same lang. Same mold. Feel ko ganun mag-recruit yung FEU eh. Parang, uy, diba? parang, parang Jeff Chan to. O okay, si Jeff Chan sa atin, kunin natin to. Ganun. O, kuha ka ng parang Macbello. O, yan. Pwede. <laughs> Okay, uh, I ca- I agree with your pick, Sam. Good pick. Sa yung Cyrus Torres, a lot of shooting there. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, uh, for my next pick, I'm surprised I'm getting him this low in the draft at the fifth round. But I am gonna go with RJ Abarientos, uh, backcourt partner LJ Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, I love this guy's game. Uh, I think that uh, since I'm getting RJ already, and we saw the chemistry between these two guys in the backcourt, uh, I think I'm good in this draft. You know, I, I'm looking pretty good. You know, uh, right now, you know, ah, LJ Gonzalez, pretty tough guy, and another guy who doesn't look his age. <laughs> Looks pretty old to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, highly recruited. Uh, champion player out of the FEU program in high school. And 
took his game to the, to the college level and is really thriving. And without RJ next season, I think he's he's gonna score. I don't be surprised if he averages 20 points a game because <laughs> he's probably he the only player to. left. He has, I, I to. has to. He's probably the only player left. Aside from the side of story, so who can get a bucket for this team? He's probably the only player who can get a bucket on his own. <laughs> yeah. Super humble guy also. Super bait. And built like a tank. This guy's built like a tank. So, you talk about someone like Denok Miranda who was a stocky guy. This, this uh, LJ, LJ Gonzalez is not stocky. He's muscular. He's big. Uh, love this guy's game. Improved uh, outside shooting as well. So, grabe. Incredible. That LJ and RJ uh, backcourt would have been nice to see them play for a few more seasons. But what can you do? I think this next season would be a litmus test also for LJ. Kasi nga wala na yung backcourt partner niya, di ba? Parang, how good can he really perform? Na basically, siya na yung maglilid nung um, no offense din nila, di ba? So, will he crack under pressure and things like that? So, would be a great test for him. Time okay. to shine. Dale. Go ahead. Dale. Two picks. Next two picks. Go. Okay. So, I also thought I'll get, I won't be able to get him at this point, but he's still available and I need more offense anyway. R.R. Garcia. I'll pick him for fifth round. I think very obvious stuff for both of you. Ayan. I can see the nods. Not a lot uh, to explain. Honestly, I, with... feel, I, I feel like probably the best talent available. Yeah. That, that one also. But, MVP! Um, yes. Not much to explain nga with this pick. Uh, we all know what he can bring um, offensively. Sana lang hindi siya laging nagkaka off nights. But with RR naman during his FEU playing years, I think that was far in view. Medyo nung nag pros na siya, dun na yung medyo may, may drought na. And of course, there were uh, bet, there was a better defense for him in the pros. But just his FEU playing years, ay, wow. Points per was game, the, diba? Was he the last MVP or FEU? I think, no? Or did Mac, Bello sure. get, did Mac Bello get an MVP? I, I think RR was the, la, the last one. Or the, no, Terrence got an MVP. Ted. Uh, Terence Romeo, oh, got an MVP. Terence, oh. baka Terence. Uh, after him, okay, okay. So don't don't quote us on that. Pakay fact check din kami ko. <laughs> ako I'm not sure who, who was the last. I, I'm just okay. assuming. I'm just assuming. <laughs> uh, okay, Here, yung here's a uh, um, major hot take. I think our Garcia was a victim of Terence Romeo. Because uh, he hugs the ball, eh. I, know, I, I don't think yeah. that's a hot take. I don't think that's a hot take, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, parang ano siya, parang sensible take siya. <laughs> okay, fine. It's, it's, yeah. Or here's it. Okay, let me rephrase it. I think uh, Terence Romeo kind of even destroyed, but hindered the career of R. R. Garcia. Because I think he could have been R. R. Garcia could have been more. Uh, if only Terence Romeo passed the ball or shared the yeah. ball with him. Diba? Again, uh, not a hot take. Not a hot take. <laughs> diba? Parang victim siya nung circumstance na, circumstance na teammate niya kasi si, si Terence Romeo. And ball hogger, eh, diba? And wala, same pa sila halos ng, ano, ng laro. And lagi silang nasa court. Sila pareho. It's not as if one is coming off of the bench lagi. So, ano rin talaga? Hindi siya hot take and unfortunately, yun talaga yung naging ano niya, um, career niya in, in FEU. Lagi siyang behind Terrence Romeo. Right. Even with our draft. <laughs> But I okay. love this guy. I love RR. I love this game. Same. Sobrang galing. Anyway, Dale. Same. Six okay. round. Sixth round, my pick, another big man. I'll go for CBC, Carl Brand Cruz. Good. I pick. love this guy. Good. Pick. I love this guy. I'm glad that he's still available. I really just wanted offense, pero I'm glad na no one took him yet. Kasi akala ko mauuna siya than Aldrich Ramos. Kasi nasa listahan ko rin si Aldrich. Um, 
But CBC, we've also seen him now in the pros. But during his playing years in FEU, another guy in a very reliable, he he won't give you 10 points per game, but you'll expect um, quality minutes for, from him always. Diba? And I feel like during his time, he was also the glue guy of, of their roster. And that's important for, for an FEU team who's usually... Um, medyo makalat na in the clutch, lalo na kapag yung mga nag-handle ng bola mo ay sobrang bibilis sa backcourt, di ba? So, um, with Carl, every time um, we miss something sa, sa three-pointer or sa mid-range, I'm, I will be okay dahil nandun si Carl Bryan Cruz sa So, siya ang aking pick. He's a um, shot Reyes darling. Chotreyas loves yeah. this guy. <laughs> he loves yeah. Ryan Cruz. I was going to say, I think he actually did better in the in Gilas. No? Parang compared Gilas, to yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Parang not Kasi, so much in PBA. I, I think may injury siya madalas eh. Kaya hindi din siya masyado nakakalaro. There was a time na okay siya eh. Um, hmm. Sorry, I was just going to I was gonna say lang, sobrang okay, solid na itong si CBC. Kasi... He can really do everything, eh. Like he can defend, he can rebound, he can shoot, he can post up, he can he he can pass. Yeah. Um really you parang he he was really such a crucial part. Tama ka nga, eh. He was such a crucial part of the team. Uh, um key cog in that uh FEU yeah. team. And his stat lines hindi mo siya talaga mapapansin, di ba? Minsan, like, three points, five rebounds, ganyan. Minsan may assist siya or minsan may block. But you don't need a lot of offense kasi from him, eh. Like, you can expect that from all the other players of FEU. And yun nga, di ba? Hitik sila sa guard. So, hindi mo kailangan ng offense. Kailangan mo lang talaga ng magde-defend and magre-rebound. So, I think... Carl Bryan Cruz talaga, very, very reliable for, for the FEU teams that he was in. He should really thank uh, Rani Del de Ocampo for his career because uh, when, when Chotreyes had Rani Del in Gilas Bo and, and in TNT, guys like Carl Bryan Cruz kind of became really valuable. So Carl, Carl Bryan Cruz should really thank RTO because everyone wanted him because of uh, because of Rani Del De Ocampo, that stretch four can do everything uh, forward. Uh, he's exactly the same player as as Rani Del, and his uh, you know I just have to say his shot is uh, pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know if if you, if you agree, it's a pretty weird shot. I just watch him shoot. He has pretty weird mechanics, uh, but it goes in. Basta pumasok. Yep. Basta mo. Actually, actually, just the same as Rani Del. Yung Rani Del had a really weird... Ayun uh, talaga, weird. Weird up form yeah. nun talaga. So, yeah. Carl, Carl Brian Cruz, yung give a part of your salary to Rani Del de Ocampo kasi oh, yung malat. Uh, anyway, for my next pick, uh, I was kind of debating whether I should go big or go small. But uh, there seems to be a lot of guards naman in FEU. So I'm gonna go Marami big. Marami pa! Dami pa ang pwede yeah. pagpilian sa guards. Dami. Uh, so I'm, for my big man, I'm gonna go with, we'll talk about heir apparent, the heir apparent to, to Aldrich Ramos, so Russell Escoto. Yeah, correct. Shit. Uh, tapos magkasunod talaga sila, de ba? Yeah. Sila <laughs> yes. Uh, so I, so I think you're kind of right, Sam. I think when Anton Montenola is kind of recruiting, is like, uh, sino ba rito? Ato ah, si Russell Escoto, mukhang pareho lang kay Aldrich. Kaya puro na natin irecruit natin to. <laughs> tapos It works isa for pang them. gusto. Yeah. Tapos isa pang gusto nilang gawin is kinukuha nila yung kapatid, no? Ang daming magkapatid yes. sa FEU. Yeah. 
Hindi mo ba napansin yun? Yeah, that's true, that's Marami true. Marami tayong patrivia na brothers dito sa, ano, sa research ni Gab na roster. Marami bros. Yep. Uh, um, sige. What else can we say about oh. Russell Escoto? He's just a really solid big. Uh, it's kind of thin, but... Uh, high flyer. Yeah. Uh, he, this guy dunks. Flyer. Yeah, he dunks, but his, he's known more uh, for his... Uh, shooting, shot his stretch blocking. capability. Yeah, mm. shot, shot, shot blocking and, and, and being a stretch big man. Again, may three pointer siya, di ba? Yeah, meron, meron. And that's the reason I think why he's still playing in the PBA. Uh, mm-hmm. because he can shoot just like yeah. Aldrich, pretty valuable. Yeah. Uh, big man who you who can shoot. Yeah, I think yun different sa akin. Like, I think he's a more athletic version of Aldrich. Um, na injury lang siya. I think sa nung time niya sa FEU parang na ACL ata siya. So if may isang year ata siya big. na ano. Oh. Oo. So they missed him. Nawalan silang big man noon. Pero sayang, malakas yung. Ano naman yung kapatid eh? Si Richard Scott. <laughs> si Richard. Okay, sige. Next. So uh sixth pick um I'm I have back to back pick so 6 and 7. Um, I really like what I have left. I'm gonna go with offense and defense. Kasi bench ko na to eh, di ba? So I'm gonna go with offense and defense. Guys that can play multiple positions. So for my sixth pick, I'm gonna go with, uh, na-mention na to kanina, um, big Ateneo recruit na, na nasama dun sa ano, exile <laughs> Of Tab Baldwin. <laughs> Buong starting five. Tinanggal ni Tab Baldwin. Uh, highly touted from high school. Supposedly, yung mga rumors is nag-try out pa siya sa Duke. Um, sa mga US NCAA teams. Whoa. Which, I don't know, baka nakipag-meeting Whoa. lang siya. Ganun. Kasi he was a big man na may ball handling, na may shooting. Um, I can't believe you're Arvin drafting Tolentino. him. I hate Arvin this guy. Tolentino. Sam, I hate your roster so much. <laughs> Orin! <laughs> offense. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Siya yung Nakaka- offense ko. Ah. So, we're, we're, we're going to do a recap first. And then you're gonna love my defense pick. You're gonna talaga, love my defense ha, Talaga, talaga. Babawi ka sa so, pick na to. Ha. Sige, go ahead. <laughs> Comment muna kayo sa kay I Arvin was Tolentino. secretly hoping that Arvin would uh, go undrafted. Yeah, because he's because he was he was a guy that you can be. He played for Ateneo and he's really frustrating because you can see the talent, but you can also see how boneheaded he is. He ha- he had this move that he always did. The when you know he was in, in the perimeter, he was six five six six in the perimeter. He would isolate, you know, he would do this crossover and he would lose the ball. Lose the ball. Every yes. fucking time. <laughs> every fucking time he would lose the fucking ball. And it was Diana, Kiefer Ravain is on your team, bro. Pass the ball to fucking Kiefer Ravain. Don't fucking go one on one. And he yeah, didn't yeah. Have iso. Yeah. And he didn't play a lick of defense. He, and even when he went to FAU, his, his play didn't change. Uh, that uh, finals, the final four against uh, in 27, uh, 2017, 2018, I think, are one of the well, the Isaac Go shot. The previous play was a turnover by Arvin Tolentino. Diba? You remember that? You know, he, the same thing. He went crossover and lost the ball to Mamuyak. Diba? I, this guy, you know, uh, I think they just put him in because, you know, he has a lot of talent. He shows flashes of brilliance. But yeah. most of the time, he's just fucking stupid. I was gonna say, parang, merong, naalala ko yun eh, may parang sequence of games na puro close games yung FEU. And laging si Arwin, si Arwin tuloy, si Arvin yung titira nung last shot. And it was either like a turnover or a horribly missed shot. 
Basta sunod-sunod na games yon and people were starting to question na parang bakit ba si Arvin, bakit ganun yung play, ganyan-ganyan. And then like finally, may isang game na he shot the game winner or something like that. Basta, he, basta ganun. And sobrang para siyang nag-champion. Para na siyang nag-champion or MVP na siya ng team. Pero like nakalimutan na lahat ng previous games na um, na you know, he cost them the win. But I don't know. I just I want a fun team. Uh, as you mentioned, Gab, like he's six five, six six. I don't think sometimes fun tantalizing, is to use. tantalizing yung tantalizing yung talent niya. Um, I'm picking Arvin yeah, as my sixth know. man off the bench. Para oh, hey, wala tayong offense, Arvin. Just go do your thing. Come off the bench. Just, just you, be, you, you better make sure you have a coach that's willing to say, Terence, umalis ka muna sa court. Dahil si Arvin muna yung, titik- <laughs> yung, yung, yung titira ngayon. Hindi sila pwede magsabay. I think, you have to admit, Terence Romeo and, Arwin, and, and Arvin Tolentino, oh my God, magkaaway sila. Feeling ko, sa team pa lang ni Sam, mag- may bugbuga na. Like, dun pa lang sa bench mo, no, si Arvin, I, si Terence, si Arvin. I, W- I swear, w- I'm ito. going. I'm swear, I'm going for most hated team. Like you will hate. Mo naman. Tingnan mo lang. Antay mo. Sinama, antay mo. Swear. Sinama mo pa si Cyrus Torres jan sa plano mo. Hassel ka sab. Antay mo lang. So so recap na tayo. Recap na tayo. Um. Sige. So so to recap, ha? Huh? Sa team ko, Arwin, Baroka, Romeo. Ramos, Torres, Tolentino, kay Gab, Belo, Pogoy, Abarientos, Ojula, Gonzalez, Escoto, and then kay Dale, Miranda, Chan, Isip, Jose, Garcia, and CBC. Okay? So, my turn ulit for the seventh pick. Um, if we're going eight rounds, this is my second to the last pick, di ba? Uh, sabi ko, I went for offense. This time, I'm gonna go for defense. So, I'm gonna go for uh, super pesky defender, uh, bordering on, and probably one of the most hated players in FEU. Love uh, na. I know what you're picking. This guy was a role player most of his career, pero nung senior year niya or maybe last two years niya, um, medyo siya na yung naging star. I think that was like a transition period then for FEU. Um, people call him probably the dirtiest FEU player ever or maybe one of the dirtiest players it ever. Was. I'm going for Ron Dennison. Oh, I knew it. Let's go! Let's go! Mag-pick ka ng ano ha, mag-draft ka ng coach. Tignan ko kung sinong coach yung makakatiis dito sa ano, sa roster mo. And so, no, sa ulo, Sam. Honestly, I'd rather have Ron Dennison than Arvin Tolentino. Ron Dennison plays both sides. Arvin Tolentino plays one side and doesn't care about defense. But anyway, yeah. De, uh, Go ahead, Sam. Pero, <laughs> You have to admit, sobrang solid ni Ron Dennison, especially yes. yung senior year niya. Like, mm-hmm. he was the leading scorer and guarding the best player on the other team. Yeah. Ganun siya uh, galing nung last year niya sa FEU. Honestly, if you didn't pick Ron Dennison, he was gonna go into my team uh, one way or, or the other. I was gonna pick Ron Dennison. I, I, I also love his game. Uh, very pesky, very lengthy uh, defender. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty fucking annoying. <laughs> Another guy that you just want to punch, no? Oh, Let's just leave it at that. And you say dirtiest player he was. He had, I can, you know, there, there are, I think there are highlights on YouTube of Ron Dennis on dirty plays. You know, this guy love. Just, and, and you know what's more annoying also? You know, just like Kim Montalvo in our last draft. He acts like he didn't do anything. That's that annoying. Reklamo, or, no? Kasi Yeah. So so ano, I was nag nagre-research ako no bago tayo nag-meeting na daw mga YouTube videos. So may interview ng FEU players. I think it was Raymar Jose, si CBC, um I forget the other two guys. But anyway, tinanong sila, 
uh, sino yung hatest player nyo to go up against yung kalabanin nyo. Tapos, eh, minention nila, ah, si ganito kasi mahirap siya, ganyan, or um, si, si BC ata, parang sabi niya, si MB, kasi ang lakas niya, sobrang sakit pag matamaan ako, ganyan, ganyan. So, si Miko Halili commented, sabi niya, parang yung mga hatest player nyo, wala kayong parang hate na kaaway talaga, no? Puro dahil mahirap siya bantayan or malaki siya. Tapos, I think si CBC yung sumagot, oh kasi nasa amin yung hatest player ng lahat, eh. Tapos, sabi niya, sino? Si Denison. Sabi niya, siguro, tanoy mo lahat ng play- sabi Sabi nila, siguro, kung tanoy mo lahat ng UAAP players, Denison ang sagot, eh, no? Ganun. So, you know, that's pala, how much eh, they know na, na hated player si Denison. No? Galing na yun sa FEU teammates niya. <laughs> Ah, yeah. sila siya eh. I think hated this guy too. Go, Gab! Um, anyway, for my... Tryo mo talagang itong hated team ko. Oh, no. Uh, all of your guys except for, I think, Baroka, Torres, and Santos, I would avoid. Or Aldrich. But the other three, I would have, I would have, I would have avoided picking. <laughs> Arvin. Ah, the Arvin. That's so annoying. Why did you pick Arvin? Anyway, so for my... Uh, seventh pick. I'm surprised he's still here, but then again, this is a very talented and very historic school. I'm gonna go with Mike Tolomia. Ah oh, shit. Okay. But you were you were hoping I I I I, you, I didn't see the Mike Tolomia name on the screen. I yes. saw it. <laughs> ah. So I think we have a theme here. For- no? Uh, most of my team are coming from that uh, 20, 2015, 2016, 2016 championship. So, Tsaka yung okay. recent team. Yeah. Tsaka yung recent team. Hinalo mo. Mike Tolomia. I wanna say si... Yeah, I wanna say Mike Tolomia was probably like in another team would be a starter. Pero I think in FEU, he was mostly the sixth man. Na, nasabay ata kasi siya madalas with like RR and um, Terence and maybe Baroka. So, he seemed like he was always the sixth man, pero super galing na itong guy na to. Like, yep. he, he like, unstoppable scorer. Ito yung mga parang okay, scoring of the bench. Bucket. Oh, walking bucket. And, and uh, ano, high school legend. Yeah, ba? High, high school, school legend. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think played for a perfect coach in Nasha Sela. I think Nasha Sela played... Mike Tolomia really well. Uh, knew when to rein him in and also knew when to let him loose because he, he he could let loose. He had some boneheaded turnovers, you know, when he was... Uh, uh, he had court vision, yung, uh, uh, t- tunnel vision most of the time and you know, he would just look to score. Then again, he, uh, I guess uh, Coach Nash was telling him that he has a lot of talented players around him. Mac Bello, R.R. Pogoy, and I think that contributed to their championship. Um, it's really surprising he's still here. But then again, the guards here in, in FEU, so rich in guards. Go ahead, Dale. Okay, Dale. Back-to-back picks. These are your last two picks. Yeah, so obviously I was disappointed na, na wala si Mike Tolomia. But okay lang, I have another guard naman. And... Again, we've said this the whole draft. There are a ton of guards in FEU. So, okay, fine. Parang knee-jerk reaction na, na wala si Tolomia. But I'm still happy with um, the guard that I'm picking. Um, so, I think Wendell Comboy will be a good um, complement to the guards that I already have. Imagine may Benok Miranda, may Jeff Chan, tapos may RR Garcia. Parang... May drop off yes ng konte pero combo is still a very reliable scorer. Um, when I was looking up some stats na available, medyo mahirap but at least medyo reset naman si combo. He ended his FEU career with like 10 points per game in 4.9 so almost 5 rebounds. Not bad for for combo, diba? And he has he has had a lot of clutch shots also during his time in FEU. So I love I love this guy and I think he's one of the more um expressive than sa guards or than sa players na meron ako if medyo quieter 
side yung roster ko. I think si Wendell Comboy mas expressive siya than the others that I've already picked. Right. Not sure if nasa list niyo siya, guys. Uh, it, it wasn't on my list because there again, uh, a, a lot of talented guards here. Uh, there are a few Madame guards Madame, here. Yes, all, yes. I would have picked the head of Wendell yes. Comboy. But I, can, but I can't argue that he is a very skilled player. Uh, did not had, well, kind of a feast or famine guy also. He had games where he would score 20 and hit five threes. And other games where he just can't hit a thing. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I, I remember that. Against Ateneo, he would hit every shot possible. But against other teams, he would just brick a lot of them. Yeah. 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 You feast or famine guy. But yeah, very talented guy. I'm not sure if he's playing pro. Is he playing pro for one team? Alam ko na draft Ay, ako, yan ma- eh, pero hindi ako sure kung... siya, oh, pero hindi ko sure kung up to now. Oh. If he has pero I'm also. a fan of him. I'm a fan of Wendell Comboy. Um, quiet guy also. Pogi din. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Wendell Comboy. Okay, so for my last pick, medyo throwback, pero again... Marami namang kilala sa FEU. So, baka familiar name pa rin to. J.R. Kawaling. Ah, shooter. He's a big guy. He's Pogi a big boy. guy, but he can shoot. He has yeah. a reliable three-pointer in his arsenal and during his playing day. So, um, I've, siguro I haven't seen a lot of his games, like his entire FEU career, but the ones na naaalala ko siya. Doon ko siya naaalala na he's a big guy, um, pero sa perimeter, hindi mo siya pwedeng iwanan kasi may, may trust to. And again, as with any, with a lot of the big guys of FEU, they're good post-up players. Uh, regardless kung kay Coach Bert Flores, kung kay Rasela or kay Capasho, parang I think nasa ano nila yun, nasa playbook nila, I guess. So, I'll go with J.R. Kawaling to round up my roster. Good pick. All right. Good pick, Damn. yeah. Uh, uh, I'm surprised, actually, he didn't pan out in the pros, J.R. Kawaling. He was a part of the uh, Gilas of Gilas. Michael Taroman, right? And mm-hmm. uh, Marcus Dowdett and all that. I was really impressed by him in, in, in his college days. I, I was really surprised he, he didn't make it that well in the pros. Yeah, great pick. Stretch four, good Stretch height. Stretch four, yes. yes. Yep. Six two, six three, I think. Yeah. Uh, so for my last pick, this is really hard, really hard, because there's still a lot of talented players uh, uh, in this list, but... I'm gonna have to go with uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with a, a, a throwback player. My first, my first throwback player, and uh, I think if he played in a system like like Coach Olsen and Rosella's system, I think he would thrive. RJ Rizada. Oi, by there, by there. You didn't expect him, but solid. Uh-huh. You have to watch him play, Sam. Uh, watch him throw back picks. He, he was ahead of his time. I think if he would have a tall point guard, uh, uh, I think he would go with RJ Rezada. He was a lefty. He, he, was, he was pretty good defense. We were so long. Uh, he played together with Jeff Chan. was very similar. The only big difference was that he can't shoot like Jeff Chan. But he played... He played and looked mas, like Jeff Chan, and he was, but he was darker. Defender, than Jeff Chan. yeah, he oh, was more of a defender. Oh, na parang defender na minsan nakatres minsan hindi. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but pretty invaluable to FEU and yung in their championship days. Uh, RJ Rizada would always check the best perimeter guy on the other team along with Denok Miranda. Again, contributed to that monstrous and uh, excellent FEU defense in the early 2000s. Uh, their team was a stack. So my first throwback player, RJ Rizada. You uh, kind of surprised you, Sam. No, but uh, I you I love this guy's game. 
was kind of debating also to pick him over other players I love here. Here. Let's talk about it. Because the ones that are missing. I feel like there are many players on the list that are uh, kind of surprising. Na natira, so we can talk about that later. Then, because uh, honestly, like ako, I'm 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 so confused to dun sa last pick. Then I didn't expect you to get Rezada. I didn't have him on my board. Um, I I'm thinking like I have eight players I want. Um, basically like options from my bench. So I have Arvin who can play both forward positions. I have uh Denison who can play play both guard positions. So I think solve na yon. Given that um probably going based on need. So I'm going for a big guy who can sort of like play my center position. Um. Really tempted to complete my most annoying team, uh, but I'm gonna go with need and wala nang annoying na big man masyado. Um, so maybe baka ito annoying din, pero kasabay ito ni ano, kasabay actually power forward siya but I'll, uh, he can play center because he's a stocky guy. Um, kasabay ito ni Aldred Ramos tsaka ni Baroka at that time. Um Power forward that can shoot the three also. So, lahat ng mga big men ko nakakatres. Uh, again, naalala ko, like, ang galing ng guy na to when it comes to other teams. Pero pag sa Ateneo, lagi siyang nasusupalpal ni Noy Baklao or ni na <laughs> Eram. I'm gonna go with Rail Cervantes. Cervantes! My, oh. ano, my final pick. Stocky big man, yes. uh, may shooting post up. Um, yeah, that's it for my final pick. Yeah, he was on my board. Uh, Option. Ko. Really? Okay. Oh, anyway, I guess we can talk about it uh, in the next segment where we talk about the snubs. Because I'm surprised with okay. the okay. Honestly, that's ah, talaga. Ako, ako... Well, for me, kasi may tres eh. May stretch big siya eh. Tapos, I, I needed a center. Although undersized to, I think it's just like 6'4", 6'5". Yeah. Um, sige, let's do recap. a recap of the draft. Yeah. Let's do a recap. Uh, the snubs. So, uh, final eight players for each team. Sa akin, Arwin Santos, Mark Baroca, Romeo, Ramos, Cyrus Torres, Arvin, Denison, and Cervantes. So for Gab, Belo, Pogoy, Abariyentos, Ojula, Gonzales, Escoto, Tolomia, and Rizada. Tapos for Dale, Miranda, Jeff Chan, Mark Isip, Raymar, RR, CBC, Comboy, and JR Kawali. Okay, so comment nice, down nice. below. Sino sa tingin nyo ang nanalo sa draft na to? Uh, who had the best team? in this uh, FEU draft. Um, sige. So, sorry. I'll, I'll bring back the list, no? I'll bring back the list. Anybody that, ano, stood out na hindi na draft, that you were most surprised with? Maybe like one or two players kung meron kayong nakikita. Um, Dale, go ahead. Since ikaw yung last pick. Sino yung one or two players na surprising sa'yo? Or someone you on your list that you, that was yung that's still there. Yeah. yeah. Well, ako sa front court ko na iwan si Prince Orizu. Um, I understand that he's not the best um uh, foreign student player of FEU, but hindi mo re- like yung size niya rin kasi very important. Six ten parang. Oh oh, ano laki niya, de ba? So, Lain tao. Medyo na surprise ako na hindi siya nakuha. I guess I just wanted uh shooting or like a three-pointer, kaya nag-ano rin ako, nag Carl Brian Cruz, and I liked Escoto more, and also J.R. Kawaling. Para lang sila yung mas naaalala ko sa throwback teams. Pero, looking at the list now, parang, ay, oo oh, nga pala, may Orizu pa. So that, that's one. And then, sa backcourt, um, I thought may kukuha kay Alforque uh, sa recent team, oh, kay Royce, Royce Alforque. Royce Alforque. He's kind of maybe he's one player that uh, by next year maybe will be taking mm. him. Yeah. You know, uh, with the exit of 
RJ Abarientos, I think he's gonna take on a bigger role for this team. Yeah. So, uh, don't for be surprised. For if... me, itong... oh, go ahead. For me, itong si Alforque is in the mold of a Mike Tolomia. He's Ayan not na naman, the lead guard, <laughs> pero siya yung offense of the bench kind of energy guy mo. Yeah. But I agree with Gab that baka nga if next season gawin yung draft, baka we'll have more ano, highlight reels from Al Forque. Because again, they have they will be forced into playing more minutes with RJ's absence. Ikaw, Gab, sino yung surprises for you? Uh, I have two in the front court that uh, I'm really surprised because I think they could have been taken ahead of Arvin Tolentino. Honestly. Sound. Very specific. Uh, ko na to. Uh, what, one is Mac Barakael. Mac Barakael. Why you see? I want that was the conflict I had with RJ Rizada and or Mac Barakael. But I say I have, I already have a stretch big in, in Escoto, but uh, I wanted to go with a wing, you uh, a defender on the perimeter. So I went with RJ Rizada. But I think. Come on, you gotta take Mac Barakael over. If you're gonna take Arvin Tolitin, you gotta take Mac Barakael. He's a le- less of a headache on your team. Sam, come on. Yeah, and to be fair, pareho silang may issues sa si Arvin sa si Barakael. Uh, Barakael was the one who got shot, di ba? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I, I think he's less of a black hole in offense, you know? Uh, he's a shooter and knows his role, can play in a system. Uh, I, I, baka ni Ar, baka si Arvin. So anyway, yeah, I think if if you're going the, if you're gonna pick Arvin. I think you would have better off been taking Marco Barakel because I love this guy's game. Uh, could shoot it well, great height. Uh, not much of a defender. Just you just like Arvin, but also that doesn't. You know, hug the ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, compared to Arvin, and also another one uh, that I was surprised was left off of the board was Paul Sanga. Don't know if you guys remember Paul Sanga. Paul Sanga. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. shooter. Uh, yeah, um, yep. Uh, uh-huh. We we talk about guys all the time who played in the wrong era or uh, was born too early. This was this, this was one guy, you know. This guy could shoot. He could shoot pretty well. Uh, you know, if he if he, if he was uh, in FEU today, he would be the Cyrus Torres of FEU. Right? He would just shoot and shoot and shoot. And uh, yeah, so those two for my front court were the surprise. And I also have two or three in the back. I'm gonna go with two. Uh, one was Jonas Villanueva. Uh, yes, we were talking about him. We were talking about him earlier. Yeah. yeah. Pogi pa. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jonas yeah. Villanueva was in the long line of solid FEU point guards. He was one of them. Right after Denok Miranda, it was, it was Jonas. So, uh, surprise, he was left off the board. Uh, Jonas Villanueva. And the other one, maybe you guys won't agree so much, but I'm surprised he's still here. Chris Eximiniano. Oh, yeah. I remember him. He's, is it, you was he on your list, your board? Uh, nauna yes. sa akin si Achi I... Inigo. So, ay sorry sa. Mm. Pero yeah, nauna sa akin si Achi oh, Inigo than um Eximiano, but You know, then... I I avoided uh picking any of the Inigos because I can't remember which one is which. Sino <laughs> sino yung magaling? Oh, sino yung magaling? Para uh, na yun alala ko mas chunky si Axel, pero hindi ko alam kung siya yung mas magaling. <laughs> <laughs> or yung or si Achi yung mas magaling. Hindi ko ma- hindi ko na maalala. But anyway, uh Chris Eximiano uh, played only a short while. I, I guess he was buried on the bench his first few years, but I love this guy's game. You talk about some guy uh, a guy like Ron Dennis who could de- who could defend lights out. This he was another guy who could defend lights out, you know, uh, Chris Eximiano. Love this guy's game. Yeah. Agree agree agree. He's he's really high on my board. Actually, I, the only reason I didn't pick because he was my backup to Denison. So since I was able to get wow. Denison, I said I didn't need to take Examiniano. Um, in the mold of Denison, Examiniano. Now that you mentioned it, Sam, because 
parang mas maraming minutes si Denison eh, than um, Eximiniano sa FEU. Kasi mas marami, like, I think... parang mas marami na siyang minutes nung nasa pros. Kasi I remember him being a good defender sa pros na, si Eximiniano. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I think si Denison lang kasi mas may offense eh. So, yeah. He was given uh, the ball more. Yep. Yeah. He, he... He was really the go-to guy in senior year. Yes, Examiniano was always like a role player, lang, but the the best defender every time. Um, nagka problema lang siya sa pro league kasi like siyang naglalaro sa uh, larong labas. Tapos na ACL siya nung naglaro siyang larong labas, so na void yung contract niya or something like that. So, um, sad story. That's what happened to him. No, well, parang they, he was cut dahil don, dahil na ACL siya or na injure siya sa larong labas. So, I remember he was getting big minutes in in Alaska under exactly. I think yes, under correct. Cariaso, yeah, Jeffrey Cariaso yeah. was getting big minutes. Tapos nawala, nawala bigla, de ba? So that was the well, that's what happened. Na injured, tapos nalaman nila sa lorong labas na injured. Um, yeah, good picks. Uh, saw them too. I guess just to answer yung Barakael Tolentino pick, like I just you know. Off the bench, I just wanted like a guy that was really big that could play multiple positions. Si Arvin na yung pinamay ball handling, tapos much well, bigger than Barakael. 6'6", 6'5", 6'6". Barakael, I think, was just like 6'4". Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, parang ano, potential. Well, but Barakael was super solid. Uh, Arvin Go is on. the more talented player. Uh, I think that's the, you know... To defend yeah. Arvin for once. I think he's more talented than Mac <laughs> To be fair to him. All yeah. things considered. Uh, with all things considered, you know, as in just looking at how the yeah. specimen that Arvin Tolentino, I think he's the more talented player. Just that he, Annoying lang talaga. He's just so... Uh, there's, there's a lot to be desired from Arvin because if he, he, if he played for your school, if he was a UP player or Lazal player, uh, the DLSU player, you would be annoyed too. He played for our school and I was freaking annoyed. Hindi siya makakapasok ng UP. Sorry. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Mic drop. Wow. Um, <laughs> shit. Shots fired. Um, wala na akong masabi dun. I- I'm not gonna say anything there. Uh, ako... Surprising pick other than your picks. I want to say like Ken Tuffin. Um, solid guy, really? really nice guy. Can defend multiple positions, shoots the three. Uh, would have picked him next maybe, mm. or actually Mac Barakael parin. But like Ken Tuffin, other than like Mac Barakael, uh, alam mo yung gusto ko. Alam mo yung eto not not really surprising I'm sure he's not on your board pero the guy that I really wanted to pick next then just for fun si Jens Nutel um ah, super annoying guy I hated this super guy ad- too since Bogey, high school pero nakakainis I was gonna say super oh, annoying Bogey. guy and I hated him since high school FEU superstar if high school legend to burat na burat ako sa kanya Nata- yeah. oo natalo ata tayo sa kanila di ba gab yeah. nung isang teammate of uh, uh, mark lopez if i'm not mistaken si- si- sila nila mark lopez yeah sila nila mark sila nila mark lopez to eh that championship team ng feu yeah but yeah. i i remember watching that as a class talo kami sa feu nung time na yon Jens Nutel, nakakainis to. But I, I just wanted to pick him as a 10th pick sana. As a really? fun pick lang din. Honestly, like with all the names that we mentioned, aabot naman talaga ng 10. I guess that speaks a lot to what FEU has had this past decades. Diba? Luxury talaga to have all of these familiar names. Even yung... Uh, even yung bench na nila, naaalala pa rin natin. And so many, so many notable names pa rin na naiwan dito sa, sa list natin. I think the reason why we, re, why we remember a lot of them because they, they, they always win. Exactly, so they're, exactly. They're always in the spotlight. They're, they're always a winning team. So you get to watch them more often. Yep. Lagi may postseason run eh. Oh, uh, diba? 
Like uh, like when we did the UP draft, a lot of those players like like who? <laughs> you know, uh, we barely watched teams that always lost. Tomorrow. So the, our, the, our draft was made up of uh, all current players. You know, rarely yeah, current players. Unahan yeah. talaga, unahan talaga sa positions. Pero ito parang the names that Sam mentioned, the names that Gab mentioned. Parang yeah, I, I'll take them too. Dami pwede. Maybe some other guys here like uh, Jasper Parker. Barkley Ebona, na iwan pa nga. Yeah, you Barkley Ebona. So, yeah. The you other is Koto. Yeah, Alex Koto. Stockton. Sobrang galing niya ngayon, by the way. Yep. Alex Stockton. Uh-huh. Si Tamsi, um, naalala niyo pa ba si Tamsi? Kasi Tamsi, score, score. Nilalaro din. kasi siya after pa nila tolom niya eh. So, hindi siya talaga yep. makakakuha ng bola. Pero pag nilalaro yun, offense din yun ni Instant. Yep. Isa pang offense din si Monbert Arong. Arong. Yeah, um, came from... Uh, Sandali lang siya. He, no, yeah, he came from a uh, team in the PCCL. Uh, he was discovered. Ah. He was a teammate of Ben Imbalas. He was a teammate of Ben Imbalas, oh. yeah. Kaya sandali was, lang siya. Kasi yep. parang hindi siya okay. five years, eh, di ba? Parang like two yep. years long or something. I think it was Western Visayas. Dami. Probably. probably. Job, University of Western Visayas. I think that's where... Um, uh, Ben Mbala came from and Monbert Arang was his teammate. So, they were, I, I think, see. recruited at the same time. So, yeah, I guess that's it. What a fun draft. Yeah, that, mahirap pa. Mahirap yung FEU draft. I guess to, Dale, to Dale's point kanina, they have the most PBA players then. So, talagang magagaling yung players nila. Um, siguro just to close uh this podcast i just wanted to make an announcement uh today will officially be like dale's like last um time with the podcast uh she's always invited to join us but she'll be studying abroad so she might not have time to do the podcast so um dale anything you want to say to our 50 subscribers 55 daw. To our 55. Kasali yan yung pa nag-champion ulit ng UP next year. Kasali oh. yan. Yung kahit na 3 a.m. Oh, yung kahit na 3 a.m. sa Australia, kasali yan. Kasi so talagang yung jersey niya. Kaya ako bumili Dala ng championship merch eh. Dadaling ko. Okay, that's good. That's Siyempre, good. it's the one and okay. only championship merch that I have <laughs> ng UP, di ba? Compared okay, go, sa inyo. Okay, anything you wanna say? Yeah, but... This has been super fun. Um, first and only season of me podcasting about basketball. Like I've always been a fan of the game. Uh, I watched NBA, I watched AAP also, and I've supported a lot of different teams. So this has been a great avenue just to talk hoops and you know not to be too technical always about it. They were very fun and very light lang. So I'm also glad that Sam invited me for, um, to this podcast. And Boleros, great having, great having you. Boleros will always have a special place in my heart. So thanks so much for subscribing and make sure to still support Gab and Sam and whoever will be their guest hosts or kung magkakaroon sila ng consistent na third host. Hopefully, hindi taga Ateneo. Let's push for that. We're hiring. <laughs> Sige, We're hiring. Hiring. You're looking for someone from the Hindi taga Ateneo, ah. So, uh, only requirement. Hindi pa yeah. Request, Ateneo. request ni Dale. Okay, <laughs> sige, noted, Dale. Oh we'll God. make sure. Um, the silence accepted. Yeah, wanna... Oh, we, we accept uh, <laughs> green archers. We love them. Um, yeah, siguro, I just wanna say, uh, I really appreciate we Gab and I really appreciate having Dale as part of the podcast. Sabi nga ni Gab, I think napag-usapan na natin tong tatlo na parang matagal na namin pinag-uusapan ni Gab na mag-podcast um uh for the longest time and then like when we were seriously talking about it, sabi ko parang parang weird sobrang bias um same background tayo, very biased tayo. So really, really wanted someone that was also a fan na hindi technical, hindi siya basketball player like us or hindi siya coach like us na just a fan of the game na bolero katulad natin na uh, yes. tayo mambola about basketball yes. um, that really brought in a different perspective 
So, you know, really happy and very lucky. Dale was our first and only choice, to be honest. Um, very happy to have you, Dale, on board. Um, I think the only thing na hindi lang namin nagustuhan ni Gab sa'yo, Dale, was because when you joined the champion UP. So, I think baka medyo may swerte doon. So, happy that you're leaving. Hopefully, wow. wala na rin yung swerte ng UP. Um, this will para be mabalik na yung championship sa tamang katipunan side. Um, but no, no. Wala other na than that, na. Oo nga. Eh, oo nga. Eh, bad trip. But, you know, really enjoyed the, the stories that you shared, the insights that you shared. Kahit sa drafts, I think, like, sobrang curveball din yung picks mo for, for us, like, sometimes. Uh, like, ikaw yung mahilig sa mga oldies na picks. Oldies. So, um, uh, glad that you can share, like, your insights with us. And we wish you all the best um, in your studies in Australia. And again, you're yeah, always more than welcome to join us every time. So, w- you'll still be part of the group, the Telegram group. So, just yes. ano, join us when you can. Uh, good luck to you, Dave. I'll cover Kai and... Soto. <laughs> pwede, pwede. Kung, kung babalik pwede. siya ang Australia, cover ko na lang siya. Uh, pwede, sakto, I... no? So, so siguro just to end, Dale, baka since this is your last um, time with us, can you do the last parang sure. ending call and ask our viewers to subscribe? Sure, sure. So again, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed all of the drafts that we've had so far. Look for the UP draft. Look for the DLSU draft with our special guest, si Apo. And of course, the third one, FEU. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that every time we're going live or we're reco- or we have a new episode, makikita nyo right away ko ano in upload namin. And leave a comment. There's a lot there's a lot to comment on, not just in this draft, baka meron pa kayong mga pahabol na drafts of your own. And also if you want to recap the great UAAP season that we had for the men's basketball, we also have a lot of episodes from from that uh, season. That's it for your boleros. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Dale. It's been great. It's been great. <laughs>